What's up with you? For today's video, we'll be full Pokemon Forever team. I'll be doing a team based on the main Pokemon that actually were featured in this movie. Now, the fourth official Pokemon film was actually released on July 7th, 2001. So that was a very, very long time ago. So did anyone actually see this movie in the cinemas? Let me know if you did. I've got two battles today. The first battle is against Victor. And I'm just actually trying to remember how old I was. So that was 20, wait, 2000. I think I was 13 years old or 12 years old then. Man, that's making me feel old. These Pokemon movie teams are making me feel so old. All right, first Pokemon we got here is going to be Roserade. Now, I did include the most uh, relevant Pokemon on this and then I had to pick like a couple out there that were you know, more featured Pokemon um, that you know, had a sort of a role in the movie so I just picked a couple of ones and I was pretty happy with how this team worked out so we're going to go for a Fling Iron Ball Tyranitar uh, now I've actually got Unnervous ability and the Rose Raid is going to be having a Focus Sash let me uh, run you over the EV spread of this so this is actually a mixed attacking Tyranitar I've got Max Attack and I've also got Max Special Attack and I've got Brave Nature I've got Hyper Beam Fling Dank Pulse and Ancient Power. Ability is going to be Unnerve and Item is uh, Iron Ball to fling it right. So that's going to be the end of the Roserade here. Out comes Greedon. So I was like, okay, let's go for a Dark Pulse here. See if I can get some flinches going. Good damage there. However, Greedon is going to go for a Stuff Cheeks. Stuff Cheeks is automatically going to eat the berry it's holding. And they lucked out so hard there. They actually were holding a Star Berry. Now, Star Berry, as you know, randomly raises a stat by two stages. And since Stuff Cheek consumed that, it actually gave the uh, Greedon a plus four in defense after the effects of Staff Berry and the effects of Stuff Cheek. So that body press is popping off. So that's the end of Tyranta. I, I couldn't do nothing about that. And we're going to go into Pikachu. Now, this Pikachu set, I tried to run like a similar set in each movie team. Um, you know, it, it pretty much used almost similar moves. So we've got Thunder, Quick Attack, Iron Tail, and Agility. Ma I also run this as a, uh, like a mix set too. Uh, max Attack and Max Special Attack. So go for Thunder there, and Thunder does like a lot of damage to Greedent, but it doesn't quite take it out. But I do get a Paralyze, which is really cool. Now, Greedent is going to go for a Thief here, and Thief is actually going to get rid of my Light Balls. It's like, oh, that sucks. So now my attacks are not going to, you know, Attack and Special Attack are not going to be doubles. So it's like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm probably going to miss here with Thunder, so let's go for Iron Tail. And Iron Tail fails to take out the green, but I got a defense drop. So like, and then a paralyzed. So like, okay, great. I can go for, I'll go for a safe play here. I'll just go for quick attack. You know, Iron Tail or Thunder. You know, they'll probably miss. So that's going to be good taking green out. But it fails to take it out because of the light ball not being there. And all green is defense. I'm going to get roasted half of that one. I should have just gone for a Thunder there, but I didn't want to miss. So there you go. Green is absolute. A uh, super, super thick mod. Uh, bringing in uh, Scythe now as the uh, the poacher. We've got a, uh, a technician set here. We've got a couple of uh, multi-hitting moves. I've got uh, max speed and max attack jolly nature. I've got double hit, dual wing beat, rock smash, and bug bite. The item is going to be King's Rock, and the ability is Technician, as I mentioned before. I like how Greden drops his berries there. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be... It's a another Pikachu. It's Pikachu versus Pikachu. Now, people, if you do enjoy the videos, please leave a like on there. It really helps me out, and it helps you out, too, because obviously those are vi you know, videos and stuff appear in your recommended and uh, subscriptions more when you interact with a video. So that's going to be the end of Pikachu there to a double hit, which is very good. Next Pokemon is Pikachu. So we're the Pikachu now a Pikachu. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is going to faint in one shot. So Pikachu is going to throw up a protect there. That's not really going to matter too much. I can go for double hit the next turn. Anyway, so go for a double hit the next turn, and hopefully I can take this Pikachu. I hope it's not like some troll set. So here's the first one, and it missed. I was like, oh, come on. So unfortunately, I got trolled, of course. I knew that was going to happen, and I got paralyzed by the nuzzle. So now Scythe is nowhere going to be as speedy as it normally is. So this was like a parafusion set with nuzzle and sweet kiss. But it didn't end well there for little Pichu because a sweet kiss ended up missing. So I missed it and a miss. So that's the end of Pikachu and Pichu. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Raichu. Is this some sort of theme team? There's Pikachu, Pichu, and Raichu on the same team. So it's going to come in and use uh, like a discharge on my Scyther. And that's going to end it in one shot. There wasn't running Everlight or anything. So it wasn't very bulky. Next Pokemon, of course, is going to be Celebi. I'm not sure if, like, I don't think I went for the cinema for this one. Um, was there anything given out the cinema, like a card or anything? I know in the first couple, but this one I watched, I know that I watched this on DVD, and I don't think it was, I know it was, like, around that time, like, 
the, the release date or whatever like that. Around that uh, point in time there. But I definitely didn't watch it in the cinema. I knew it was on like a DVD. Now, this seller be right. I don't know if they keep giving... Po like, when was... Like, what point in time did they stop giving Pokemon cards out at the cinema? I actually would like to know the answer to that question. Like, I got them in the first couple of films, but I... After that, like, I, I feel like they didn't give them out anymore. I know they haven't in the, like, the recent one, so interesting. So anyway, I, I was just thinking about that on the spot right there. So this Celebi is a future site, Rain Dance Sunny Day Weather Ball set. I've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack. I've got the items leftovers. Of course, we've got Natural Cure as the ability. So getting that rain up there, which is going to be very good, I can fire off some very powerful Weather Balls. Uh, the Raichu's got Draining Kiss, so you can't really do a lot of damage to me there. I am, like, for some reason, too, when you look at Toxic Spikes, um, like, put on the field there, that was put on the field by Rose Rate earlier on. Why is Celebi poisoned by Toxic Spikes? Look, like, look at it. It's, it's, it's literally floating in the air. Like, that's so strange, you know? Like, that should, in my opinion, that shouldn't be poisoned by Toxic Spikes. Like, what do you reckon? I don't know how they'd fix that in a Pokemon battle situation, though, like... I know flying type Pokemon, levitating Pokemon that aren't affected by and stuff like that. You know, all those sort of things, like air balloon and things like that. But I don't know. Maybe they could. Uh, maybe Pokemon that are like actually like visibly levitating. I don't know. Maybe that'd be too difficult. If they imagine if they change the animation in the future and then the Pokemon would suddenly touch the ground. Maybe that's why they did that. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, Celebi has poison there. I can always swap it out because it does have natural cure. But uh, I sort of want to keep it at the moment. It's doing some pretty good damage here. Last Pokemon is going to be Psyduck. So Psyduck, uh, well, it's going to have a pretty powerful water type move. It's got one. It's got Cloud 69 there. So that's going to be uh, you know, very, very useful against my Celebi. So I've also got Weather Ball, and I've got Sunny Day. I was like, you know what? I'll just go for Weather Ball. I'm probably going to faint this turn anyway. And it is going to be a Dynamax. Psyduck, so it's going to be very, very powerful in the rain. Now, I've got no idea what sort of Psyduck this is going to be. Is it going to be physical? Is it going to be special? I don't know if it's going to be a try. I'd say it'd be some sort of sweeping set, right? That, that was uh, what I was thinking anyway. So Psyduck is going to... Oh, it's blue too. I like blue Psyduck. It looks very, very nice. Now, Psyduck is going to get hit by a weather ball there. Obviously, it does nothing. Um, I've got that. I was thinking about going for Future Sight too, but I think I've got that one coming in already. So it's going to go for a... It's, it's like an Ice Beam or something like, like an Ice Beam or Ice Punch on my Celebi. I'm not really sure. And that is going to be the end of my Celebi. But it's okay. I've still got two more Pokemon. And I've got my own Dynamax to use uh, as, as well, which is going to be good. So we're going to be going into Charmeleon as Sam here. We've got a, uh, a Choice Bandit set. We've got Headbutt, Flare Bits, Thunder Punch, and Beat Up. Now, I'm thinking about this. I can go for a Thunder Punch with Choice Band. That'll do a lot of damage to Psyduck. Psyduck's not going to be very bulky. And you watch the damage I did to it. I did not, like, look at that. There was nothing. This Psyduck is running, like, extreme bulk. Like, what the heck? I know it's got Dynamax, but still, that should have done, like, a lot more than that with a Choice Band, Adam, and Charmeleon. So that's going to drop me with some water move there. I've got my suspicions what it could be. But uh, that's going to get rid of the hail, and it's going to set the rain up again. So bye-bye, Charmeleon. I'm glad I didn't Dynamax that one. My last Pokemon here is going to be Suicune. Of course, we have to have Suicune on this team. Now, this Suicune is a physical set, and I've got the... Um I've got Liquidation, I've got Ice Fang, Bulldoze, and Curse. So, I don't really have any moves that are going to do much outside of Bulldoze. So, I was like, well, I could go Curse here, then go Liquidation, or Dynamax Max Geyser. That should do some good damage to Psyduck regardless, you know. Um, if it is a physical set, the Psyduck, of course, you know, that'll only do Suicune, uh, like, wonders there. It's already got really, really good defense anyway. Now, my item is going to be White Herb here, because I want to get rid of that... Uh, that speed drop because I'm actually running a max speed max attack set. So here comes a max geyser from the side. I'm guessing this is only Psyduck's way to hit Suicune and it does virtually no damage at all. I guess the only damage that's going to be annoying is that toxic spikes damage, but I'm not going to allow Psyduck to live for that long anyway. So that is going to be the end of Psyduck's uh, Dynamax uh, Onslaught, I guess you could say. I was running Adam and Nature on Suicune as well. I wanted to get as much damage as I possibly could. So I've got Max Quake and I've got Max Geyser, but I'm thinking this is actually a physical set. So we're going to be going for a Max Geyser. I don't think that Psyduck will live this one anyway because this is going to be pretty powerful, you know. And it's lost to its... Uh, unless it's something like an like a crazy... I know, it's, I know that it's bulky, but... I don't know if it's got Everlight or not. It could have Everlight. I wasn't sure. But regardless, I believe that my attacks were still going to be like a... Like, should be a 1 to 2 hit KO against it regardless, right? So, uh, Psyduck is going to get hit by the Max guys. Now, it's powered up. I've got a plus 1 in attack. And we've got the rain here flowing. 
and it's Stafford Suiku, and that, that took that incredibly well. It really, really did. Unfortunately, the Psyduck is going to get paralyzed there, and my Suiku can take it out with a um, like a Bulldoze uh, next turn. Now, Max Quake from Bulldoze. But I don't believe that probably would have even taken it out anyway. I, I still think that Psyduck would have lived, but I'm kind of curious what Psyduck EV spread was. I know that it was Max Health and Everlight. I'm, I'm starting to think that it might have been Max Health and Max Defense. I'm not sure. But uh, that is the end of the side up right there. The bulky side up. Only on people that channel. Uh, thank you, Victor, for the battle. I think that one might have been a wipe. I'm not really sure. It's hard to remember. Let's get on to our battle number two. This is against our peeps. And this is a pretty damn cool team as well, as you'll get to see. Now, tonight possibly could be a double up. I'm not sure. But if it isn't, it isn't. But uh, I was thinking about putting two videos up at this stage. But I'm not really sure quite at the moment. Uh, so first Pokemon we got is going to be Stojourner. I like the name. It's called Unhinge. Instead of, uh, you know, like Henge and Hinge and stuff like that. Very nice pun, uh, pun there. So Stojourner, well, it's pretty much going to put its arms on the field. It's, it's like some of its body on the field. Getting them stealth wrapped up. So I'm going to got Thunder Punch here. This Charmander is going to be like probably the worst Pokemon to use against this team. You get to see. So, and now Stojourner is going to be setting up the Sandstorm here. So that's going to make, uh, that's going to make this thing very, very bulky. Now, I don't know if this annoys you, but it really does annoy me about Stone Gen. Like, I, the Stone Gen is like my second favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. There's one thing that really, like, I don't know, really, like, I'm not sure. When you look at the crosses on his legs, right, why is one of the crosses not, like, why is it a completed for? That, anno that, that annoys me so much. I'm not sure why. Anyway, back to the battle there. First world Pokemon design problems. I'm going to take a little bit more damage there from the Sandstorm. Now, I actually was pretty lucky. I kept getting paralysis, and I was doing pretty good damage. Unfortunately, the uh, Unhinged is going to go for a self-destruct there, and that is going to be the end of Charmeleon. Uh, at least it fainted itself there, but I was hoping my Charmeleon was going to scum it out there with the Paralyzed, but it never happened. Very, very close, though. Bye-bye, Charmeleon. Now, the next Pokemon to be on the team is going to be Stone Journey. It is a full Stone Journey team. So, six uh, Stone Journey. So, my next Pokemon is going to be Tyrande. I picked this as the Masked Marauder, too, in the movie. I was trying to think of some characters who could actually make the cut for this team. So I've got High Beam, Fling, and Dark Pulse. Like, okay, well, let's go for Fling first. I'll fling my item off. Now, I had a feeling this might be Meteor Beam due to Stone Journey's name run. Now, Stone Journey's going to go for a uh, Dream to Beam. It just dreams about firing off massive beams. Unfortunately for Stone Journey, it's going to miss with my, uh, my, uh, my Tyranitar. And now I'm going to get some free damage off there with the Fling and Iron Ball. That was really good damage, too. That's a, like a solid two here, KO. So now I know Stone, one thing about Stone Journey, its special defense is very, very poor. So I knew this next attack would do like a heap of damage to her, right? So here comes a Earth Power. That does pretty good damage to Tyrant considering Stone Journey is like low special attack. And it's going to be taken down by a Dank Pulse there. So very good. Uh, Dream to Beam is going to be doing a, a lot of dreaming right now. So that's two Stone Hengers down. Next Pokemon to come out here. Wait, the Sand is gone. That's good. It's, it's kind of interesting that seeing Tyrant without Sand Saw for once. Uh, number one special defense. I think they're roasting at special defense. I see. I see. Now, they're going to go for a Wonder Room. Now, Wonder Room is going to make uh, Stone Jenner's horrible special defense very, very good. And it's going to make its great defense very, very bad. So, I went for the Dank Pulse there. And, of course, it's not going to do as much damage because the, you know, the defense is swapped around. So, it's going to have leftovers as the item too. Now, I can't go for Fling. Because that's my only physical move. It's like, man, I wish I had fling still. I've only really got ancient power. So now it's going to go for a sand, uh, sand two man, not a sand storm. That's going to trap my Tyrantoon. So I can't really do a lot here. I can go for an Ancient Power, but then, you know, that's about it. I'm not going to be doing any you know, amazing amounts of damage here. Unless I get like an Ancient Power boost. But our uh, Leftovers is like healing up like a lot of the damage that I did already there, right? So uh, I'm going to be trapped in here. This is pretty much going to be the end of my Tyranta. Now, instead of attacking me the next turn, the Stone Journey is once again going to set up the sand. So that's going to benefit. Well, I mean, it is going to benefit Tyranta too, but I, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be fainting like probably next turn, right? So going for my final Dank Pulse here, taking it the half health. I was very impressed with that. And Stone Journey is going to get some more uh, leftover recovery. I got a question here, V. What is your favorite Gen 8 Pokemon and why? Like, my my favorite is Cramorant and followed closely by Stone Journey. Like, I love Cramorant's design. I like its ability. Um, it's really, really unique, you know? Like, like let me know your uh, you know, your favorite uh, Gen 8 Pokemon. Like, even if you didn't like the Gen 8 Pokemon the most, like, what one? If you had to pick one, what would it be? So that's going to be the end of Tyrande. We're going to go into Pikachu now. I'm thinking, well... 
Let's take advantage of that uh, that Wonder Room, you know. Stone Jet outspeeds my Pikachu, and it hits me very, very hard. But it doesn't take Pikachu out. I was like, wow, Pikachu actually lived a super effective attack. Like... That's, that's so rare. So with the help of uh, Mel Metal's tail there, Stone Journey is going to be fainties. That's excellent. So that's three uh, Stone Henges down. Now, Pikachu's probably got one more turn left in it, and I'm going to go for another Iron Tail, right? So next Pokemon's going to be called Spot Me. Maybe that's like a... Um Maybe that's something to do with, the, like, its ability, like, power spot. And I'm going to actually fade to the Rocky Helmet there. So, bye bye, Pikachu. It's good damage. Anyway. I would have faded the body press anyway. It didn't really matter. Next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Celebi. So, I noticed it had a uh, body press. Like, okay, well, I should be able to take this out. I've got a lot of special moves. And I thought, wait, I can go for a Weather Ball. Like, I can go for a Rock-type Weather Ball I can use. Like, this is really curious. So, I can, I've got a Rain uh, one. I've got a... Um, I've also got the Sun one as well, but I can use the Rock one too. So we're going to be going for that, and I thought it'd be pretty cool using that on the, the Celebi run. So this does like, uh, you have pretty good damage there to the Stone Jr. Almost taking it out. It's going to be like, I guess it's a set based around Body Press, right? That Body Press is a very good move on Stone Jr. with all its nice base defense there, right? So the Sandstorm is finally going to wait, go, like, go away. It's been around for like, what, most of the battle there? Like maybe one of these will set the Sandstorm up again. I mean, possibly, you know, in Dynamax. So I can go here for another... Wait, I can go for a normal weather ball? I was thinking, like, I can go for another one. Like, that's three, four different types of weather balls at the moment. So we've got the rain, the sun, the rock, and the normal. So go for the disrespect weather ball here on the stone jersey. Like, this should be able to take it out. Special defense is trash, right? And it did. So that's excellent. So beautiful. So nice little disrespect there. Bye-bye, stone jersey. Now, we've got two more left here. I'm going to receive some more leftovers uh, recovery. So things are going very good. I can. Actually, I was thinking about actually going for a future side here, then attacking. Next Pokemon is Mega Leg. I thought they said Peg Leg for a second. Now, Mega Leg. Why would it be called Mega Leg? Why would it be called Mega Leg? Oh, I know why. So we're going to go for a future side here on the Stone Journey. That's going to be very good. It's going to go for a Heat Crash here. I mean, I know that it does have a Mega Leg, but I think there's another like reason behind it. So Celebi's going to get wrecked there by Heat Crash. Like, man, that needed like a lot of damage. Like, Stone Journey's really heavy, and Celebi's like a tiny little fairy, I guess. So it's really, really light. So bringing in Scythe here, I do have the, uh, I, I do have Rock Smash. I know that it's not going to take it out, obviously, but I wanted to see if I could get, like, a, some damage on it, right? If I could get that damage, then Future Sight, that should be enough to, you know, take out this Stone Jenner. So, hitting Stone Jenner, basically, with another leg there. Excellent damage. And we're going to get a defense drop there, which is pretty cool, too. It's going to go for a Mega Kick. So, I had a feeling that it did have Mega Kick, because, you know, Mega Leg. So, uh, Scyther is going to be fainting that one, uh, obviously, uh, with no Everlight. Last Pokemon is going to be... The Suicune. So I'm thinking this turn I'm going to be fainting that Stone Journal with Future Side. So how about I go for a curse, get a free defense and attack boost up, and then prepare myself to go for a Dynamax on the next one? That sounds like a good idea to me. So we're going to be outpacing that Stone Journal there, which is good. Like Stone Journal is a pretty fast Pokemon. Like it's a nice Choice Scarf Pokemon too. Like if you're on like a Choice Scarf one, works very very well. Even you know Choice Band, it's, it's pretty good. Like Jolly Nature Choice Band or like Adamant uh, Choice Scarf works very good. Now Stone Journal is going to set up a Gravity, which is interesting. And Future Side is going to take that in one shot. I guess their strategy was like Mega Kick and Gravity, or they had some other. Some other, like, low-accuracy move there, right? Last Pokemon is going to be Leg Day there. I don't mind the old shiny stone. Jen looks pretty cool there. I have to go for Dynamax right now. I've got no choice. This thing is definitely going to be Dynamax itself. I've got Max Geyser. Now, since it is coming from a physical attack, and I know my opponent is definitely going to go for a Dynamax here. I didn't expect to one-shot a bit. It should be a two-hit K. It definitely will be, because I'll be able to set the rain up, too. It just depends whether Stone Jenny uses a rock-type move here and sets up the sand, you know. And, you know, there's a very, very good chance of that, right? So, uh, Dynamax Suicune right there. And we're going to have a Dynamax uh, Stone Journey right here. These are some... Like, imagine, like, if... Dy like, Dynamax is like a prediction of the bigger poke, all right? Imagine uh, when you look at the Pokedex, there's all pressure marks. Notice, like, near the weight and stuff. Imagine how heavy this would actually be if it was, like, actually proper, like, weight, right? So, uh, Dynamax Stone Journey is going to definitely be going for a Rock-type move. I know. Maybe it's going to go for Max Strike to try and outspeed me. Like, that's what I was thinking at this point in the game. Uh, so, go for Max, guys. Anyway, coming off the, the Liquidation on Stone Journey. Excellent damage there. It's a 2DK. Beautiful, you know? But... Stone Jota is going to be uh, going to have a very, very scary item here. It, it is going to have the weakness policies. I'm like, okay. I'm very lucky that I got the curse up. 
I'm guessing this is... I, I'm assuming this is coming from, like, Stone Edge. I'd say that. I haven't seen, like, a real physical, like, Stone Edge user. And that does very good damage. But Suicune, as you know, is extremely bulky already. Plus, I had that, you know, that curse up. So, that really did save me. Especially the, the bulk of Suicune. You know, the bulk of Dynamax. And, you know, just as general, uh, you know, curse, uh, plus one to curse it. So I could go for a final max, guys, here. I doubt the Stone Journey is going to live this. It's going to be pretty close, though. But I believe I will be able to take that out there and finish off the uh, six Stone Journeys. And there it is, people. My final attack there, right in the middle of the Pillars, Ulch. And that is the second battle. Hope you enjoyed the Pokemon Forever team. Man, what's the next team to do after this? I think it's the Lartis one, the... When Ash kisses like Latios, I think that did. I have to check it. Anyway, I'll be back with that one uh, like next week or something like that. Thanks for watching, people, and peace out.